morning, Commissioner. Morning. You sent for me? Yes, I did, Steve. Here. What's this? Am I drafted? Yes, to find out who's been running these guns and other contraband into ports along the China coast. Oh. Steve, this gun running has reached serious proportions, and it's got to be stopped. We think one man is the brains of the operation. Ever hear the name Captain Jaeger? Captain Jaeger. Isn't he some kind of a soldier of fortune in the China coast area, or should I say sailor of fortune? Uh, yes. You mean he's the head of this gun running? Uh, no, but uh, we're going to use Captain Jaeger to find out who is. Use him? How? Hey, Commissioner. I see a very peculiar gleam in your eye. Uh, that's all I can tell you at this stage of the operation, Steve. Report to Naval Intelligence in the Philippines. They'll take it from there. Well, that's it. You've got your assignment. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. I've got my assignment, or have I? All I know is there's a wholesale smuggling operation going on in the China Sea, and somehow I'm supposed to tangle with a rugged gent named Captain Jaeger and use him to find out who's masterminding the operation. Yeah, I'm really in the dark on this deal. It's like playing a game of poker when I can't see my own hand. I've got an uneasy feeling that I'll run into somebody who'll be trying his best to see that I cash in my chips for keeps. It's Wednesday when the plane lands in the Philippines. At Naval Intelligence, I meet a Commander Elwood who takes me to the waterfront. I'm still in the dark on the deal. There's where we're heading. The submarine? Right. I'll try and take good care of you. You the skipper? I'm a skipper. Al's first time for everything. Come on. We get on the way immediately. I watch the dock slide away, and I get that uneasy feeling again. Some deal they've handed me. Here I am on a submarine heading out to sea, and I still don't know what it's all about. We set our course southwest. The first day we cruise on the surface, everything's quiet. At dawn of the second day, we change course and submerge. We cruise under the surface all day, and towards the end of the afternoon, Commander Elwood sends for me. I find him in the conning tower. I have to give that navigator of mine an extra stripe, I guess. Looks like we're out in the middle of a big nowhere. Turn to the right a bit. Tramp steamer. Can you make out the name on the stern? Shang... Shanghai Lady? Captain Jaeger's ship. Huh. Sealed orders. You're to open them when you get aboard. I'm going aboard Captain Jaeger's ship? Right now. Prepare to surface. Aye, aye, sir. Jager's cabin. Oh. Well, where is he? Right here. Who, you? No, you. What? Huh? You better read your orders, Mitchell. <laughs> Mitchell. Yeah. I guess they better. Hey. Surprise, huh? says here there isn't any Captain Jaeger. That's right. What? Huh? That's right. 
Mitchell, do you remember during the last war, the RAF, whenever anything went wrong, who'd they blame it on? The gremlins. Wait a minute. You mean Captain Jaeger is a gremlin? <laughs> I guess the Navy started it. Everything that's gone wrong out here the last couple of years, they blamed on Captain Jaeger. You know, it's gotten so a lot of people believe there is a Captain Jaeger. <laughs> so that's why the commissioner had that gleam in his eye. <laughs> well, now, I'm Captain Jaeger. That's right. If a lot of people believe there is a Captain Jaeger, why not come up with one? Mitchell, we've been running down a lot of these small-time gun runners. Whoever's behind the whole operation needs help. They might try to hire me, huh? You mean they might try to hire Captain Jaeger? You'll find all the clothes you need in there. <laughs> Thanks. You want to see your ship? Sure. Any more questions? Yeah. The crew. Who are they? Mostly volunteers from the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps? That's good enough for me. Let's go. Let's go. Men, this is our new skipper. This is Hoffman. Hoffman? They call me Tennessee. Sir? I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> they grow them pretty tall in Tennessee, don't they? Yes, sir. <laughs> Just how much does the crew know about this deal? They didn't know anything about it until we got aboard. Now they have a general idea of the operation. Well, that just about clears up everything but you. Mike Merrick, first mate of the Shanghai lady. Otherwise known as Lieutenant Merrick, United States Navy. Merrick? Seems to me a guy by that name played quite a lot of football at the academy a few years ago. Seems to me I remember you spent some time there, too. <laughs> well, you're the skipper. From now on, whatever happens is up to you. What's our position, Mike? Come on, I'll show you the chart room. And this is where the trouble area is here. That's where most of the guns are being run, huh? Yeah. Well, my orders read to cruise around the various ports in this area and see if somebody contacts me, so... Let's head for the Malayan Peninsula, down it to Singapore, then over to Sumatra, Java, and Borneo area. Sounds good. Something ought to happen in one of those places. Yeah. The question is, what? We set our course to the west and steam all night and the next day toward the Malayan coast. By dawn of the second day, we change our course to the south. What is it? Could be trouble. Trouble? Too close. Real too close. Their favorite gag. Break the bridge and try to kill off everybody on it. Who's they? Malayan pirates. Oh, great. Dead ahead. Try to board us. What are we supposed to use? Slingshots? We got a 20 millimeter gun on the forecastle if someone could get to it. Hey, looks like one of our boys is making a try for it. I got me that machine gunner spotted, Skipper. Up on their mast. I used to be pretty fair knocking squirrels out of trees. Okay, Daniel Boone. You try your luck. Maybe I can make it to that gun mount before somebody else lets go. What are you doing? For luck. When I need me a bullseye. Go ahead. We sure need one. Can you see him? No. That's just fine. Now hold it. You got him! Let him have it. Come on, give it
Kind of looks like we got ourselves a shot on board, Captain. <laughs> you must have made that mark of yours for me, Tennessee. Well, that's where some of those smuggled guns wind up, huh? Just one more reason we got to get the boy behind the gun running. Yeah. Hey. Dutch, by the look of it. Stand by for boarding party. Acknowledge. What'll I do, Skipper? Steady as you go. What? Hey, Steve, these fellas mean business. They sure do. Right over our bow. Oh. oh. What was the idea of that routine? Just behaving like Captain Jager would behave. Captain Jager? Are you going to identify yourself? Suppose they think I am Captain Jager. What'll they do? Escort you to the nearest clink and search the ship for contraband. Yeah, we'll give them a lot of publicity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait until the port authorities start trying to find out what kind of contraband we're carrying. What are we carrying? A load of sand for ballast. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to see Captain Jada. I am his wife. Hello, darling. Oh, hi. Well, is that any way to greet me? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> there. Is not that much better? <laughs> yeah. Like I always say, I'm so lucky to have a wife like you. That was just for the benefit of the guard. Oh, I bet I got more benefit out of it than he did. I am Colette. I told him I was your wife because I wanted to talk to you. He wouldn't let me in otherwise. Oh, I see. You're a reporter? Oh, in a way. There are some questions I want to ask you. Such as? Do you know where the Blue Parrot Bar is? I think I could find it. On your first night, free? Maybe. Oh, I'll see you later. You have company now. Bye, darling. Goodbye. Hi, Mike. Hi, darling. You work fast. <laughs> oh, I'm a whiz. <laughs> Who is she? My wife. She also claims to be a reporter. <laughs> she wants to interview me in the Blue Parrot Bar the first night I'm released. You think maybe she's the contact? Could be. Well, maybe you'll find out tonight. Tonight? You're a free man. Oh, so they finally gave up on that sand. Uh... In disgust, they gave us 24 hours to get the Shanghai lady out of port. Mm-hmm. Well, if anybody's going to contact me, they better hurry up. Let's get out of this flea trap. Man, oh, man, oh, man. What goes on, Tennessee? Woo-wee! Take a look, Skipper. Yacht? What's on it? Well, well. What is it? A cute little number in some kind of a sunsuit or something. Hey, he's waving at me. <laughs> this Captain Jager ought to have been invented a long time ago. Skipper, I sure am getting lonesome for my binocs. <laughs> well, what do you know? Kind of looks like we're sure enough going to have company. She's getting into a motorboat there. You think maybe she's the contact? Be fun trying to find out. <laughs> I sure would admire to be a one-man welcoming committee. Okay, Tennessee. Bring her into my cabin. Famous Captain Jaeger himself. Remember me? Well, not exactly. Patricia Brent. Well, there's no reason why you should. We've never met before. 
I'm glad to hear you say that. For a moment, I thought I was slipping. I just wanted to see the famous man close up. Well, sometimes close ups aren't so hot. I'd say in this case, it was even better. Oh, uh, that's uh, quite a yacht you've got. Were we speaking of yachts? No. You're an interesting combination, Captain Yeager. I collect interesting things, you know. Captain Yeager. Just a moment. Excuse me. Certainly. Another visitor from the yacht. Looks pretty unhappy about something. That's not unusual. He's always unhappy. Who is he? Arthur. My husband. You're... your old tricks as usual, Patricia? Oh, now, Arthur, let's not be a complete bore. As for you... Arthur, this is Captain Yeager. I don't care if you're Captain Kidd. I'm Captain Jaeger, and this is my ship. I... Who asked you aboard? Come on, Patricia. Oh, Arthur, really? <sighs> Goodbye for now, Captain. Good luck with your collection, Patricia. Perhaps I can add to it. What is it with you, anyway? Catnip? <laughs> hey, it'll be getting dark pretty soon. Let's get into town and see if Colette keeps her date at the Blue Parrot, huh? I was wondering if the famous Captain Jaeger would remember me. I think you made sure he would. You're prompt. Yeah. And you came alone. I'll buy a drink. Good evening, Colette. Then, sir. Come, Captain. I uh, haven't met your friend. The pleasure would be all mine. Captain Jaeger. This is Van Zandt. Now, if you will explain. Oh, the famous Captain Jaeger. I've been looking forward to meeting you for some time. Yes? Yeah. I'm an importer. An importer? What kind? Oh, various commodities. Uh, couldn't the three of us have a drink? We might have that. If you don't mind, Captain Jaeger, it's too warm inside. Well, perhaps I'll see you later, Captain Jaeger. Maybe. Which way? This way. Hey, what goes? A month ago in Singapore, my husband was killed. Now look here. He was knifed in the back by the famous Captain Yeager. Surprise. Now you... look, Annie Oakley, you got your signal switched. I didn't kill your husband. You did? They say it was you. Why should I kill him? I don't even know him. You lie. Look, they blame a lot of things on Captain Yeager, but I didn't kill your husband. One month ago, I was a thousand miles from Singapore, and I can prove it. Yeah. Now, you better run along. Don't go getting any more crazy ideas like that one. I'm sorry. You know, this little incident just gave me a very unpleasant thought. Me too. I wonder how many more people are gunning for Captain Jigger. I don't like it, Merrick. I should have been contacted long before this. I know. You got company, Skipper. I took the liberty of waiting in your cabin. No wonder I couldn't find you when I went back to the Blue Parrot. Intelligence agent. Yes. Sit down. As you and Lieutenant Merrick may know, uh, we're working very closely with your government in this operation. Some of these smuggled arms have been finding their way into our colonies. 
I should have been contacted by now. I'm afraid it's too late for that, Mitchell. You see, the entire operation is known. Where was the leak? Couldn't have been us. We're the only two to have gone ashore. It's the imposter in your crew got the news ashore. Imposter? Who? A body was found back in the United States. A man named Hoffman. I never saw the guy before in my life. I know. This is the real Hoffman. Oh. You mean the guy that we accepted as the real Hoffman killed the real one back in the States and came out here on his papers? Sure, he did it to learn our plans and then tip off his boss. That explains why I haven't been contacted. Let's go get him. Great. Well, right. A half hour ago, I saw him ashore. Then I lost him. The whole operation gone up in smoke and no closer to an answer than we were before. Well, let's go take a look at his locker and see if we can find anything that might give us a lead. Yeah, Good. go ahead. Suddenly, I realize something doesn't add up. When did the leak take place? None of the crew members, including the phony Hoffman, knew what the deal was until they came aboard. And once aboard, there was no chance for him to communicate with anybody. No chance except... in the small boat, Tennessee? Sure are, Skipper. Arthur, will you stop harping on it? How was I to know who he was? If I hadn't caught up with you, you'd have ruined everything. But you did. Now we're getting underway. Everything's all right. Care for a drink, my dear? No, thanks. Well, well, well. We were just talking about you, Mr. Mitchell. I don't doubt it. Hello, Hoffman. Looks like I'm in the soup, huh? Well, if I'm going to add to my collection, I might as well start right now. Captain here. This is my ship. And you've just increased the amount of pleasure I'm gonna get from watching you die. You know, I finally figured out how your stooge got word to you. He was the one that helped you on the deck when you came busting over for Patricia. He signaled you to get over there fast before she could spill something that would tip me off that you were the boy at the head of the gun running. Exactly, genius. All right, take him forward. We'll shove off and dump him at sea. Too late, Mitchell. All right. So long, sweetheart. Take good care of your collection. I still can't figure out how Tennessee got here in the nick of time. Well, there I was, leaning over the rail, squinting through my binocs. The lovely lady. As usual. Yeah, I see the captain put his arms around her and plant a big kiss on her. But behind her back, he's making him a sign, you know, and that he needs a shot. You sure got over here in a hurry. I wasn't sure that you'd realize I was in trouble. Are you kidding, Skipper? What do you mean? If you wanted to be rescued from that, I figured how bad can trouble be. <laughs> <laughs> you sure enough got a point there, Tennessee.